Okay, in this video we're going to look at using hotspots. That's when you can click on an area of an image um, and it will do different things depending on whereabouts you click. So um, the example I'm going to use here is a quiz question. You could do it in any number of situations. You could do a Where's Wally or you could do a, a map that click, you click and go to information about different countries. But we're going to do this as a quiz. So the quiz question is going to ask the people to click on England if they're doing our quiz. Now you'll see over here that I've set up a slide if they get the answer correct. I've set up a slide to say, sorry, that's wrong, please have another go. And then question two. So if they get it right, they can click on that button and they can go on to question two. So the way we're going to use a hotspot is as such. We're going to click on the picture and then right click and hyperlink. When the hyperlink box comes up, we're going to go place in this document and we want to go to our slide that says, sorry, that's wrong. So we click on that and we click OK. Now, what we do then is we insert an auto shape. And what we're going to do with the auto shape is we're going to try and cover as much of England as we can. Now, apologies to people in Wales, we might have to include a little bit of Wales as well. But that's more or less going to cover um, England. Okay, and then we're going to hyperlink that hotspot. Oops, go away. We're going to hyperlink that shape rather. And we're going to send that to our correct slide. So yes, correct, well done. Once we've done that, we can test it. So we'll run the slideshow. We'll skip forward to the right slide. There we go. Now, if somebody clicks on the picture, it should go to the wrong slide. If they click there, it should go to the correct slide. So we click on the picture. Sorry, that's wrong. Click here to try again. If they click on this bit, it goes to the correct well done slide. So we can be quite, we can be sure now that that's working. Once we've got it working, we can edit the shape. We can have no fill and we can have no outline. And then when we run the slide again, we've got that, which goes to that slide. And we've got, if we click here, it goes to the correct slide. Now these buttons don't work, so the final stage is to go back and go on these buttons. Remember, click on the outline of the shape, not the text. So we need to hyperlink that button to go to the next question, which is like done there. And we need to hyperlink this button to go back to the question so they can have another go if they get it wrong. So that's wrong. Click here to have another go. It's going to go back to the original question. We press OK. And we can go in and we can uh, one more thing by the way um, with all of these slides selected we want to make sure that the people can only navigate using our buttons so if we go to transitions and untick the box that says advanced slide on mouse click uh, that will do as I'll show you in just a second that will do it like this so if we run the slideshow we can click on the slide and it won't go on to the next slide so we oops that was me just clicking the wrong button um so if we go into a ooh, right let's try that again so it won't go to the next slide if we go on to our image we click and it says sorry that's wrong we click on the button we have another go let's try another country no still wrong let's have another go let's find the correct country that's correct well done go to question two and we're ready to put in another question as we've just described. So that's essentially how to use a hotspot to produce a quiz question. I'll leave it to you to think of some more uses for that particular technique.